Now, I know every unit I say it's super easy, but really this time, Chapter 1, Lesson 9, Estimating Roots, has to be our easiest. It is laughably easy. The only trick is to know this table, and by now you should be getting pretty familiar with it. Everything we do comes back to knowing this table, or at least having a really good understanding of this table. Estimate each expression below to the nearest integer. Go ahead and hit pause and give these a shot. Here we go. To find the square root of 40, I say, okay, what's smaller than it and what's bigger than it? I know 6 gives me the square root of 36, and 7 comes from the square root of 49. So if I were to put my square root of 40 in there, I see that square root of 40 is only 4 away from 36, and it's 9 away from the 49. Therefore, it's closer to this, 6. With the one, square root of 150, I know it's between 12, which is 144, and 13, which is 169. I put my 150 in there. I see I'm only 6 away from the 12, and I'm 19 away from the 13. Therefore, it's closer. Cube root of 200. The only trick there is to remember that we're doing the cube root, not the square root. I know that 5 cubed gives me 125, and I know that 6 cubed gives me 216. If I put my square root of 200 in here, I see I'm 75 away from the 5 and only 16 away from the 6. Therefore, the cube root of 200 is much closer to 6 than it is 5. And that's it. <laughs> There's nothing more to say about that one. That's completely everything you need to know for Chapter 1, Lesson 9, Estimating Roots. Enjoy the music.